both of them a little earlier uh, during casual and Casey. Okay. I had to make sure who was on what side. But uh, uh, Casey's uh, Lucario looked actually pretty solid. Yeah, he's not a bad Lucario at all. He does have yeah, some. You were uh, his round one, right? I was his round one. Okay. That is correct. So how did you feel about that matchup? I thought it was. Well, in case of Lucario versus Shadow Moon at this particular point here, I feel like there's a lot of power between these characters themselves. And so finding the way to get in and get those conversions, those combos off on your opponent is going to be a big deal. If, you know, not case case, you can actually get the walls flat with the Aura Sphere, big damage on a Shadow Moon who has, you know, a small amount of health. Yeah, I know when I spoke to Case beforehand, and I was the player, okay, well, comment to me was, I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> yeah. But here's the thing, even even Better. so, if you don't want to be that person, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that taking that step and really putting yourself out there and utilizing every move that your character has to offer is a big deal. Exactly. I mean, why limit your tools? Exactly. And we actually see a nice homing attack coming in from Nutcase Casey onto that one, and you gotta give it to him there. That oh, was really close. <laughs> Switching over to Eveltal for support, which, honestly, I like a little more than Lapiaus. Shadow Mewtwo. Shadow Mewtwo has a ton of pressure, but, I mean, this is gonna hit. That's my point. Exactly. Oh. Is it, right out of range. Too far. <laughs> there's there's a lot of problems with Yvel too in the fact that it it doesn't quite always have wow what is happening. I have right no now. idea what was going on there, but uh dive game. Uh, we were playing Lucario, not Dr. Doom. <laughs> no! Not now! Not now! <laughs> I've lived a full life. <laughs> uh, it's been a nice comment with you. Yeah, I mean <laughs> no. fun fact, uh, when we actually found you were first coming out. Uh, Utah uh, was talking to me about it, and I was surprised because I hadn't heard it. You were coming out at all. And the first thing was, I want you two to commentate a game. <laughs> <laughs> now, Nutcase Casey is in the rage section for himself here. He does use the burst to get himself out of that uh, that sticky predicament. That was a great teleport. All right, he does get the bone rush in. Oh, nice wow. job. This is going really well. Gets the counter though. That one doing a lot of damage. Him in oh, the range. that's gonna hit. That is. Let's go. <laughs> that is definitely gonna take the game here. Nutcase Casey taking game number one in this best of three. Nice job getting that punish off. Very solid play. Now you may see that one actually change characters. We're not sure just yeah. yet because he made it. Maybe you know it was. Yeah. A we don't know. We don't have the information. Wild card. There's man. nothing on our sheets. <laughs> Where are our sheets? <laughs> Now, it does look like they're going to stay on with this, these characters. I do like the matchup. You know, I think that Lucario has a lot of tools, though, on Shadow Mewtwo to I get agree. himself in there. With, like, the Bone Rush and so forth, there's a lot of uh, vulnerable frames that he can punish here. Yes. And as long as you stay at that sweet spot for Bone Rush. Now, interestingly enough, we weren't seeing a whole lot of Vortexes coming out from that one. And that's a big gameplay. Oh, absolutely. Especially when you get towards the corner. I've actually noticed that a lot with our local... Uh, Shadow Mewtwo players, there's only one of them that really abuses Vortex. Right, well, Storm is fantastic at that. Oh, He's absolutely. great at fading out the Vortex, which does massive amounts of damage. You really have to be super careful really about is. the mix-ups here. That was a good punish. That one, already at a really low amount of health here, does decide to go for the Latios. Um, it just stands there, <laughs> as if saying, If it ain't um, broke, don't fix you it. Come to me. <laughs> and the counterattack hits. All right, this is match point here for Nutcase Casey. That one has to find his momentum, get himself into some sort of groove, and start applying some different pressures, maybe some mix-up tactics. Absolutely. And honestly, I would like to see a board. Well, that might at least take. See, no, I, that jumped right going out. to the Eveltal super early like that, I, I don't necessarily agree. I think finding I, a setup first oh, definitely. and then putting it into the Eveltal because you only get one shot. Yeah. And if you pop it that early... That was a good grab. That was a really good grab. And you also are seeing that, hey, Nutcase Casey does have burst online for himself here with the Jirachi buff. That's going to be massive damage. And it now really Eveltal's no longer there to punish. I mean, we have Shadow Mewtwo with burst as well, but... Where's going? I don't see it getting used. Oh, and all right, that one gonna go for the curse. 
Ooh, okay, nutcase Casey right. responding in kind. Oh, that was a good punish. Shadow Mutes are gonna blow up the world once again. I don't know how many times he can keep doing this. <laughs> you know, we've got enough climate problems. This is it. <laughs> Could you be a little more considerate, SMT? You know, maybe Jirachi is like granted Rings a wish to have another 45. Up to 57. I always forget that Lucario has a little bit of light. This could be it. Does he get it? Oh! Oh, oh and there it beautiful. is! Beautiful! He's gonna live. He's gonna live. I know it. One oh. HP, it's not gonna work. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> About that. <laughs> so, a great game. From beautiful job from Nutcase Casey. Taking it 2-0 over that one.